there, Geminis. This is Astro Girl. And finally, I get it right. I know I got it wrong last week when I said it was Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving this week. I live in the US. I, I was kind of wondering why everyone was looking at me strangely when I was saying Happy Thanksgiving because it wasn't anywhere near Thanksgiving. I always figured it was like the 23rd of November, even though I've lived here a very long time. But it's actually late this year, coming in the last week, the last Thursday of November, closer to December. Now this is a time, Geminis, when throughout the world, I think Thanksgiving is one of those things that doesn't have to be just a US thing. Give thanks, give thanks for your health, give thanks to your partner, give thanks to your nice new car, give thanks to your dog or your cat who brings you tremendous pleasure, give thanks for your fabulous hair, your good skin, whatever it is that you feel you've been particularly blessed with. But mainly give thanks for your good health and the health of the people around you. When I watch the Philippines on the television and Iraq and all those places, I realize just how lucky we are to be living in a country where you can, you know, walk a street without having a bomb thrown at you or, you know, a tidal wave come and just float you all away. It's terrible. So really, I think Thanksgiving is coming at a time when the world needs it to come. Now, Mercury, your ruling planet, the planet of communication and clear thinking, meets up with Saturn in Scorpio this week, your sixth house of hard work and service to others. There's something that you haven't done, Geminis. There's something that you've put off doing that you now need to go back over and do. And you probably know exactly what that is. And midweek, the moon in Libra, which of course is a fellow air sign in your fifth house of romance, creativity and self-fulfillment, gets into a, a bit of a sparring match with Uranus and Pluto. Now, this could mean that something very unexpected happens where you are forced to take sides, Geminis, where you are forced to agree with one person and disagree with the other. And as you know, whenever you take sides, that sticks and the people remember which side you took. And as much as you try and get out of taking sides and as much as you want to claim Switzerland, it's not going to work this time. You are going to have to pick a side. So choose very wisely and make sure that you, your choice is based on your gut instinct and not where you feel you won't get the most retaliation back from. Have a great week, Geminis, and I'll speak to you again next week.